All right, so I wanted to give a, um, share a true story that just happened to me recently. And if you are a new like baby Christian or new on your walk, or you get easily scared, please do not watch this, turn it off right now, okay? Because for those who get scared easily, um, I don't want y'all watching this because it can be scary, okay? But for those who know who you are in Christ, um, then this, this is like kind of a teaching tool, I guess you could say. But basically what happened was, um, so the night, not last night, but the night before I got attacked by the devil. And following that night, like not yesterday afternoon, but the previous afternoon, what happened was as I was on Facebook, which I hate Facebook, by the way, but anyway, I was on it anyway. And I found this profile and it had all these weird videos. And I just looked into it because some of the stuff was kind of like stuff that I used to be in back in the day. Cause sometimes I look back and I'm like, wow, God, thank you for rescuing me from this scene, right? From the rave scene and everything. And anyway, there was this girl, she had these videos and they weren't like anything like revealing anything like sexual, but she was very well um, dressed up with her makeup and fake hair and little costumes or whatever. And it, she would like change poses every so often, say weird stuff. And I saw these and I noticed that there was like pentagrams on the clothing and then the videos would change into like demonic things like demon eyes and like satanic horns. And it was really weird because in a way I was like kind of almost like mesmerized or like fascinated, not in a good way. Okay, I don't like evil things. I don't even watch horror movies. But it was almost like captivating in an evil way. And I, I didn't watch it for maybe five minutes or so. And then I turned it off. And I went about my day as I usually do. Anyway, so it comes nighttime, okay? And again, this was not last night, but the night before. And um, I tried to go to sleep and I was hearing weird noises like someone's rattling the door. And this was in the spiritual realm, not in the physical, obviously. So it woke me up. I was like, okay, I'm tripping. I'm gonna go back to sleep. And tried to go back to sleep again. I was hearing weird noises. It's like I could never go to sleep because as soon as I did fall asleep, something would wake me up. So I was like, okay, this is weird. So then I go to lay on my couch. I go to fall asleep on my couch. And as soon as I start drifting off to sleep, I feel something in the spiritual realm shake me. And it said, wake up. I'm like, what? So I jumped up, I was a little terrified. I was like, oh no, I knew it was happening at that point. I knew I was being attacked by the enemy. So I text one of my brothers in Christ. Of course he was asleep because this was at like 11 something at night. And I went to my office room where I do a lot of prayer and stuff in, I opened up my Bible, got into my devotion, started praying. I started binding and rebuking the enemy and I just could not go to sleep. And I was like, what in the world? Well, I forgot to mention, but before I went into the office room, after that incident happened on the couch, it's either in the couch or my bedroom. I had like an image flash of that girl on Facebook, those videos. And I was like, uh oh, what have I done? I like opened a door. Yeah, I opened a door, all right. I opened a door directly to Satan just by watching them. And so I was a little scared, even though I know I'm not supposed to be afraid. Like it was trippy. So I go in my son's room. I lay down on the floor next to his bed. And 
I'm finally able to go to sleep. Then I had the most horrifying dream. I um, was in a room with a bunch of people and these people were actual demons, but in regular people form. When I would address them or see them as a demon, their pupils would get big, black, and huge. And you could tell they were a demon, like there was no color in their eyes. But as soon as I addressed them as like a human being, the pupils would go back to normal and they would look like they weren't possessed. Anyway, my six-year-old son was in that, um, in that dream and they had him they weren't harming him physically but they had his shirt off and um i kept following them so i'm like what are you doing with my son and they had like this i want to say it's like a black light responsive type marker and they were like drawing things on him and what really upset me is they drew, they drew Satan's name across his tummy. It said Satan. So I started binding and rebuking these um, demon devils. And then all of a sudden I was taken out of the dream or the dream went away, but instead I hear a voice. It was the voice of Satan. I've never heard his voice before. This was the very first time. I've always had encounters with demons but this was actually Satan. I couldn't see him though. I can see demons, but I can't see Satan. But you can hear Satan's voice. And it was a man's voice, okay? And it was full of pride, full of evil. And because when I was rebuking and binding those demons in that dream, that's when it took me to pitch blackness and I heard Satan's voice. Because when I was saying, in the name of Jesus, I command you, you know, to go back to hell or whatever I was saying, he said to me this, he said, which Jesus are you talking about? Are you talking about the one on the cross? And then he didn't say anything after that. It's like he wanted to add more to that or try to confuse me. I told him, I said, you've been defeated. Jesus defeated you on the cross. I kept saying, you're defeated, you're defeated. He started laughing at me, but his laugh didn't last very long. And then he went away, he went away and I woke up. And then I looked at my phone, it was like 2.40 or so in the morning. And I'd seen my brother in Christ had gotten up and had um, heard what was going on. He saw my message, I text messaged him earlier in the night. And I told him what was going on briefly. And he started praying for me. So I went back in my room. I was freaked out, of course, and um, started reading Psalms 91. I found a video on YouTube. It has Psalms 91 on repeat for like an hour. And so with his prayer and the rebuking and the Lord coming in and falling asleep to that Psalms 91, so that way I had the word, you know, playing in my sleep. I was able to get like one hour of sleep. But I'm telling you all this because that wouldn't have happened had I not seen those videos and it's accessible on Facebook. Like it's put out in like millions of views and you would never think that it would give you or give the devil straight access to your spirit like that. And we just gotta be careful like what we're listening to, what we see. And so I find it not a coincidence. I know it was the devil again, jacking with me because yesterday night, um, I went onto YouTube and I typed in, cause I get my son to watch, you know, Jesus movies, kids, Jesus movies. And I type in kids, Jesus movies, and I press enter. So, you know, all the kids, Jesus movies are supposed to pop up. Well, the movie right before it popped up in the kids section and it was a face of a demon from a horror movie just staring and i was like oh no satan i rebuke you again because i knew that was the devil jacking with me who else would put that in the jesus videos after he just tortured me the night before 
And one thing I will say about these demons, I can give other dreams, I have other testimonies of demon encounters, is when you start casting them out, they'll stand there in front of your face. Sometimes they'll laugh at you, smile, they'll make you think that what you're doing in the name of Jesus is not working because they want you to be afraid and run. But if you just face them and you stand firm in your faith, they will eventually flee. They can be quite stubborn, but this battle is real. And I don't believe in watching horror movies. I don't watch any horror movies. I don't even celebrate Halloween. I call it Halloween because it's literally like hell manifesting itself on this earth on that day. And there's different witches doing whatever. And you're like exposing kids to like these horrific haunted houses thinking it's all cute and funny, but it's not, it's absolutely not. So, you know, I'm not judging for anyone that wants to, I'm, hey, that's between you and God, but you know, my encounters with the enemy is usually when I open myself up to things. Um, there was a time when I was a baby Christian, I didn't know any better. I was watching some kind of vampire movie series. I forget what it was called, but it had that doppelganger girl in there, whatever her name was, I don't remember. And anyway, I didn't get but halfway through the series, I started having nightmares, really bad nightmares. And the Holy Spirit showed me, it's because you're watching this movie. Don't you know, as soon as I stopped watching that movie, guess what? The nightmares went away. So that's what I'm saying. We can't be participating in all this worldly evil stuff, okay? It's not of God, it's from the devil. And it's here to like keep us desensitized. So anyway, I'm gonna go now. <laughs>